Hello everyone. As you may have seen through many of my videos, I have traveled to many places and have spent quite a bit of time in my Talaro. It's not always easy spending a lot of time in such a small space. So today I want to share with you the items I have purchased for use within the interior of the Talaro. These items all fit nicely into the Talaro storage spaces and also make traveling and staying in such a small space easier, more convenient and thus more enjoyable. The first item I'm going to show you is this cookware set. This is the Stan Sport 7-piece stainless steel cookware set. I purchased it on Amazon for about $62 and this is such a great space saver. Let me show you. The pots all nest into each other and to close it all up the frying pan does fit right on top. The set comes with four pots of various sizes. The frying pan, a lid, and the detachable handle that fits all the pots and the frying pan. The second item are these pot protectors. I purchased them at Home Goods for about $5 for a set of eight, and you just place them in between each pot, and they do a great job of preventing the pots from rattling against each other as you're driving. Now, I know the items at Home Goods can be hit and miss and are constantly changing. So I did check Amazon and currently you can purchase a set of 12 of these pot protectors for under $10. So as you can see, all this fits nicely together and it also fits nicely in the overhead storage compartments. And it doesn't take up very much space at all. Now I'm gonna show you the ever so important coffee maker. I have a Keurig at home and love it, but could not find a mini Keurig that would fit in the overhead compartment. They were just too tall. So after a lot of searching around, while keeping in mind the overhead compartment dimensions, I found this K-Cup coffee maker on Amazon. This is the Easy Basics K-Cup and Ground Coffee Maker, and you can currently purchase it for just under $50. It was rated at a four and a half stars out of five and had great reviews, so I decided to give it a try. And let me tell you, I have not been disappointed with this coffee maker. I've used it just about every day that I've been camping in my Talaro, and it works great. It's compatible with K-Cups, and it comes with a reusable filter that you can use for ground coffee or brewing tea. I've also used it just to make hot water. We've done a lot of hiking recently in Utah and it gets pretty cold there at night. After an exhausting day of hiking, it was convenient just to use one of those cup of soups and fill the coffee maker with water and place the open soup cup underneath and have the hot water dispense straight into the cup. But most importantly, look how nicely it fits into the overhead storage compartment. The fourth item I'm going to show you is this under cabinet paper towel holder. This was purchased at Walmart for about $15. I did see a similar one on Amazon for under $15 also. Let me show you what this one looks like with the paper towels removed. Now I didn't want to put holes in the cabinetry so I installed this one with double sided Gorilla tape and it has held up very well and has never fallen off. Right here above the sink has been a great location to install it. It's conveniently located to use for drying your hands after washing them as well as for easily grabbing one to wipe up any spills while cooking. So this is such a small space. Where do you put your trash? Well, I found this small trash can with a lid 
and it is the Better Homes and Gardens stainless steel 3.9 gallon step trash can bin. I purchased it at Walmart for $25 and it has a slim and rectangular design so it fits right beside the kitchen cabinetry and behind this unused space right behind the driver's seat. The width of the trash can is 8.10 inches so depending on how tall you are you might not be able to keep it behind the seat while driving. Four gallon trash bags fit perfectly inside and it's large enough to hold a decent amount of trash yet small enough to dispose of your trash bags at gas stations while traveling. The stainless steel ex exterior fits nicely with the decor of the Talaro and I love that there's a lid on it. It does a great job of keeping the trash properly contained. The sixth item that I'm going to show you are floor mats. There are two that I have purchased. The first one is placed in front of the sliding door to wipe your shoes on it and catch any dirt upon entering the van. And another one that I've placed directly outside of the bathroom is slightly plush and it feels great when getting out of the shower. Now both of these floor mats are machine washable and thus it makes it very easy and convenient to keep clean. The floor mat in front of the slider door here measures 29 and a half by 18 and the floor mat outside of the bathroom measures 34 by 20. They each fit nicely in their respective spots. Now I've chosen neutral colors that to keep in line with the existing decor, but of course you can choose any color you prefer. I purchased them each at Walmart for under $12. The seventh items I'm going to show you are organization items. To help organize the overhead compartments, I found this wire shelf. It measures 22 by 10 and I use it over these shallow storage dividers and it helps to maximize the space. These storage dividers are 10 and a quarter by 6 and 3 quarter each and fit great underneath. I also picked up these small weight baskets that measure 11 and a quarter by 8 and this plastic container that measures 16 by 11. I usually place taller items in the container such as bottled water and drinks and shorter items such as soup cans in the smaller baskets. The great thing about using these baskets is that not only does it keep your items organized, but you can easily bring them into the house and fill them up with your desired items and then bring them back into the RV so you always know how much space you have. Now over here in this large drawer, I have used some drawer dividers and it helps to keep everything organized and easy to find. Now all of these baskets and containers and the wire shelf that I have shown you can easily be found at Walmart. Because space is so limited, I didn't want to waste any room storing towels because they can be pretty bulky. Also, I didn't want to deal with looking for a place to hang wet towels all the time and they can tend to take pretty long to dry. So I found these microfiber towels. These are the Wise Owl camping towels. I purchased them on Amazon for $17 each set. The option I purchased comes with one towel, one washcloth, and a storage bag. These towels are perfect for the on-the-go lifestyle. They are so super thin and they don't take up much storage room as you can see. They are super absorbent and quick drying. They also have this convenient snap loop so you can loop it over your towel bar and hang it to dry. You can also do this anywhere outdoors and they'll, they won't blow away in the wind. One other towel that I wanted to mention is this smaller microfiber towel. I purchased this at Walmart for about $7. I found it in the sports section and what's neat about it is it has this little magnet that you can just snap right on here. And what I use this for is to wipe up after a shower so that it dries it all up and then I conveniently just hang it right there and it dries quickly. Number 10, mirrors. The only mirror in this Talaro is the one on the medicine cabinet. And sometimes when you're heading out to dinner at a restaurant or what have you, you wanna make sure you look decent. So I've installed these mirrors 
These mirrors are self-adhesive mirror tiles that I've placed to create the full-length mirror. I purchased these on Amazon for $22. They come with 10 mirror tiles and each tile is a 6x9. They were easy to place on the back of the bathroom door and have stayed in place. The 11th item is this suction toothbrush holder. I purchased it at Target for $5 and it comes in so handy because there's really no ledge or shelf to place your toothpaste or toothbrush case when brushing your teeth. It has stayed in place, suctioned to the mirror that I installed. When I was in Utah and Arizona last month, it got pretty cold at night. I was concerned about using too much of the propane in the RV for heating the RV. I wanted to make sure I had enough on my extended trip to heat the water for showers and to use the cooktop. So I found this great little heater. It is the Mainstays 1500 watt ceramic electric space heater and it's about $23 at Walmart. It's so lightweight and compact and as you saw fits nicely under the storage bench. It worked great at heating up the RV space. It has three heat settings and a fan only setting so you can use it to cool the space especially when you have the windows open and you're using the screens so it can actually be used all year round what also fits nicely in the underbench storage area are these camping chairs and table they are lightweight and collapsible and they come with their own storage bags. Each chair has a cup holder and the table has two cup holders. They have been pretty comfortable for sitting outside under the awning and enjoying dinner or a snack. They were purchased at Walmart for under $15 each. And best of all, they fit great in this storage area. During long trips, you might find that your back starts to ache because these seats in the Talaro do not have any lumbar support. I purchased this lumbar support cushion at Home Goods for under $15 and it has helped quite a bit. Number 15. I have purchased a dash cam for the Talaro. Because the Talaro is a large vehicle, you will be moving much slower than many of the other vehicles out there on the road with you. So they will be tending to cut you off a lot and this would be a great way of protecting yourself against fault. Now this is the Next Base 322 GW. I purchased it on Amazon for $145 and it has received good reviews. It has a 140 degree wide viewing angle and it stays on all the time so the screen does not shut off while driving. It also has parking mode so it will record if the RV is hit while parked. It is also easy to remove if you want to use it in another vehicle. Now I've had many dash cams and this one seems to be working out pretty well for me so far. Number 16. I like to relax and watch TV at night so I purchased a Google Chromecast. This allows me to stream from any of my mobile devices or computer. For those times when there is no internet and my local network is down, I also carry a backup HDMI cable so I can plug my computer directly into the TV and play saved videos directly from my computer. I purchased my Google Chromecast on sale at Target for $15. Number 17. Speaking of the internet, I have equipped my WineGuard with a T-Mobile SIM card. I chose it because I already have a T-Mobile cellular plan and they were having a sale. Unlimited 4G data for $50 a month. The coverage thus far has been decent and although there have been some WineGuard connection issues, the plan has pretty much been working out pretty well for me. Number 18, headlamps. These headlamps are great to keep in the RV. They take up much less space than a flashlight and help to keep your hands free. They come in handy for when you need to walk around in the dark, such as turn on the propane at night. 
You can get battery operated ones, but I chose these rechargeable ones. I purchased them on Amazon for $24 for a pack of two. They come with the USB cable to charge them. They are lightweight, waterproof, and adjustable. I have even used them for running at night and they have worked out pretty well for me. As many RVers know, while you're on a trip, small problems can arise at any time. So to remedy these issues, I keep some different items on hand to help address or repair these issues, even if it results in just a temporary fix. There are many different items you can choose to use, but I'm just going to show you what I keep in my RV. First off, for number 19, we always carry a well-stocked toolkit. We keep this in the under storage bench. Now for number 20. All the miscellaneous items I'm going to show you are small and store nicely in the drawers. I have a windshield repair kit, some Velcro, double-sided nano tape, duct tape, Gorilla Epoxy, Gorilla Glue, some string, bumper pads to eliminate any vibrations, and zip ties. So there you have it. Those are my 20 items that I keep in my Talaro that store nicely in here also. I hope you found this video useful and enjoyed watching it. Please watch out for future videos and thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and goodbye for now.